Hello and welcome to this video. Today we'll be taking a look at how we do quick pay and uh, prepayments for an employee. Now, before getting into quick pay and uh, prepayments, let's take a quick look at the person's assignment to see whether the payroll is assigned. Yes, it is. Salary basis is assigned. Yes, it is. We can do a, this. We can do a date track to 15th of March. Okay, and then go to salary. And we can, uh, the person has, you can see it is there from 15th of July. Okay, so we'll go back to the application. And when we go to entries, you will not see anything here by default. So we'll go date track to today's date. And then we do control F11. So whatever is entered here, you will see this, okay? So the person started on 15th of July, person has a basic salary. Let's say the basic salary is 15,000. HRA is 50%. SP EMP contribution is 12.67%. So at this point of time, we check his element entry, it's all there, payroll is there, salary basis is there. The next thing to check is whether the payment method has been entered or not. So we get the bank details of the person and we find there's nothing there. So we can make an entry. Let's keep the dates uniform and move it to 15th of July. We'll enter the bank details. Let's say Bank of England, priorities one. We want every month an amount of 2000 to be put there. Okay. And since it's magnetic tape, you need to provide the bank details. dashes won't be allowed remember that even though your sort code may have dashes but they are not allowed here any other bank you can enter here one number all right so we are done with the payment method. Now the first one would be the $2,000 pounds that would be transferred. The second one, you could put it as a check. So the remaining amount would be passed over as the check. And we can give a priority of two. Okay. Now here you have to give the balance amount or the percentage. Let's say Twenty mm. percent. Next, we go to quick pay. So here, the default one is uh, showing as of the current date. Here, the date is fifteenth of March in the assignment screen. But um, since that's the screen from where we navigated, so that would get carried forward. Now we'll change this to today's date, let's say, and we'll run it for the month of August. It's the regular run, and we can save it and then click Start Run. So that's the best way, and uh, Start Run. It takes a couple of minutes till when it freezes the screen, so you can't go anywhere, can't do anything else, just bear with it. So now the status is complete, which means you can go and check out the run results. So basic salary, what was the run result? The original input value was 15,000. And SP HRA, the run result, um, 
is 7500 final but the input value was 50 percent and the formula was 50 percent of basic salary so that's what has processed okay so that's done and you could also if you want to take a look at the SOE report you can so here it shows you the earnings there's no payment method details here because we haven't generated the prepayments yet and this is the gross year to date so far all the processes next we'll do the prepayments so then i click on prepayments if you don't save it and then run it then you have to it'll be it'll prompt you to save it then you say yes and system will run the prepayment process for you and at the prepayment process level it distributes the net pay between the different payment methods of the person so check banks bank one bank two looking at the priority so the priority one is the top priority and thereafter the remaining payment methods would be distributed so let's give this a couple of minutes So now that's completed. And if you go to view results, this time you can see the pay methods, which was not there before. So you click on it. So the first one is $2,000 and the remaining amount is paid here. And if I look at the SOE, okay. so the total amount is 22,500. Okay, uh, remember if it was 80%, then it should have been um, roughly around 17,000, 18,000. But what it did was at first priority was 2000 and the remaining amount has been put into a check. Okay, so if there were other payment methods relating to each bank, you'd see them here. Okay, so that completes our task here. Now, one more thing before I leave is uh, whenever you submit a quick pay here, remember you can take a look at the element selection to see which elements have been, are being selected. If you don't want any, you can always exclude them. That is before running the quick pay. Okay. So you can do that. And uh, suppose I want to run the one for uh, September now. I go here and element selection. So if you don't want it, you can just uncheck it and it will not be processed in this quick pay. All right. And then you can save it and start your tip. With this, we come to the end of the video. Um, hope it is clear to all of you. If you have any doubts or questions, put it in the comment box and we will get back to you on the on the webs. So this one is also completed.